In this part of the video, we'll talk about how to attract hummingbirds into the yard. This can be as simple as just hanging a single feeder in your yard. Lots of people have good luck attracting hummingbirds this way, but it might take a lot longer for hummingbirds to find just a single feeder. So I suggest you add at least a few flowering plants. This will provide more color to help attract the attention of any hummingbirds that might be passing through your area. You can start on a small scale with a feeder and just add a hanging basket or two, or maybe some porch boxes or pots filled with flowers. Hummingbirds are most attracted by flowers that are red in color. So red petunias or red fuchsias work well in hanging baskets and pots or porch boxes filled with red tobacco plants or red salvia will work well to attract hummingbirds. All these additions will help add more color to your yard and in turn make it easier to attract any hummingbirds that might be in your area. If you have more space and would like to spend more time, you might consider planting a small garden to attract hummingbirds. You will want plants that will be blooming throughout the season while the hummingbirds are present in your area. In my garden, I've used a combination of annuals, perennials, shrubs, and vines to provide blooms from the spring through fall. To provide flowers in the spring, my favorite choice is a Ouija bush. They bloom early and are loaded with lots of color. Here in my garden in northwestern Ohio, the hummingbirds usually arrive in the spring just about the time the Ouija's are about to start blooming, usually around the first part of May. Sometimes they might arrive a few days earlier, so I start hanging feeders in the yard towards the end of April to be sure to catch those early arrivals. Another early blooming favorite of mine are these honeysuckle vines. If you have a fence or trellis or pole that you might grow one on, these would be an excellent addition for any hummingbird garden. The Ouija's will only bloom for maybe a couple weeks, so these honeysuckle vines will continue to provide blooms for the hummingbirds to feed on well into the summer. A favorite perennial of mine to use that's just starting to grow is bee balm. It'll be blooming later on in June and continue to bloom through August. Once in bloom, the bee balm will be one of the favorite sources of nectar for the hummingbirds. The final touch to complete my garden and make it totally irresistible to hummingbirds will be to plant some red salvia. Salvia are annuals which have to be replaced each spring when the weather warms and the danger of frost is passed. But once they are planted and get to growing well, they will provide lots of red blooms to attract hummingbirds. So here's what we have. We have the Ouija with lots of color to attract and hold those early arriving birds. And then as the Ouija starts to fade, the honeysuckle will continue to bloom to be joined by the bee balm. And as these plants start to produce less and less blooms, the salvia will reach its peak blooming period and will continue to carry the load of feeding the hummingbirds until the time they leave in the fall. Each year there are more and more people putting out feeders to attract hummingbirds, so anything more than just a feeder that you can add to your yard will only add to your success to attract and hold some of the birds in your area. Once you have a hummingbird using your feeder on a regular basis, you can continue to the next step, teaching your hummingbirds to hand feed.